Good morning, everyone. We're joined by head women's soccer coach Nikki Izzo Brown this morning. Um, we're going to go ahead and open it up straight to questions. Just a reminder to use the raise hand feature when you're ready to ask a question. All right, Jake Stansel, you can begin. Hey, Coach, this is Jake Sands with WBRC in Birmingham. I had the chance to speak with your daughter, and she was telling me, you know, at a certain point, she's like, she's like joking, I got to cut off communication before the game. I got to get game ready for this one. What's it like from your perspective matching up against your daughter? Uh, I or, The original thought was uh, that I would be able to see her uh, during two jam-packed um seasons and you know then last year when we went there it was way more emotional than uh, either of us thought she obviously has always cheered for the mountaineers and to find herself in a position to cheer against them i know was very emotional for her and and obviously uh for me the same um so it it's uh definitely exciting that I have that opportunity to see her, but also uh, your heart's kind of torn a little bit with, with all the emotion. Captain Kinder, you can go next. Coach, you've been so good defensively for so long, you know, especially on the back end. And then obviously you talked in the preseason a little bit about trying to find better play there here, though. Does that affect you overall, your team overall, that, hey, they've always been able to depend on that back line, being able to clear and everything, and it, you know, feeds things differently, that it kind of makes a different construct for this team? Yeah, I mean, when you when you lose two pros as, as center backs, there's going to be areas that uh, none of us um, are predicting, right? So I, I, what what's going to be key for us is – that we are eliminating the errors and putting ourselves in the best position to win. And the, the funny part of it all is we're scoring goals, um, but uh, we got to get back on those shutouts. So, you know, it's, it's a combination of everything. It's a little bit of losing those center backs, getting used to um, a new team, but also, you know, there, it's, it's not just, you know, one phase of the game. It's it's different phases that we got to clean up. And does it change the way you approach offense or getting into the attack a little bit? Well, Are you a little bit more yeah, defense conscious? A, a little bit, a little bit. You know, we have to be mindful of that because we don't want to neglect a result. And you get a tie, it's a result. So we, we have to make sure that uh, we're not neglecting that. Any other questions for coach this morning? All right, Jake, you can go ahead. Hey coach, I just had another question. Are, are, are there words that you share with your going up against your daughter before the game? And, and if she were to score a goal, I, what's, what's that like for, from you from an emotional perspective? Well, I, I can, I can only share what happened last year. And um, you know, when we were in the game last year, um, you know, her role was a, a bit different. She gets into the game and, you know, um, I see her driving, um, and I, you know, obviously I know her very well and, and she was putting a move on Gabby Robinson and she was, uh, just about to release her shot and she created this, this shooting angle and I got up, um, in the mom excitement. And then realized that I was the coach at West Virginia and not the mom of Sammy Brown that was just about to score. So I sat back down and literally at the, I won't tell you what happened, but then at the end of the game, Sammy's like, mom, can you believe it? I made Kaza lay out and I didn't remember it. So I blacked out, um, clearly blacked out on her shot. So it was very, very emotional because, you know, the, the mom in me wants her to score and, and, and show that she has the ability to do that. And then the coach in me is like, 
heck no, we got to win this game. Angelica, you can go next. Coach, obviously things didn't go the way that you wanted to these last road games, but now that you have two home games coming up, how important do you think that is, you know, in order to maybe help this team get back on the right track, you're at home. Do you think that that can play into that a little bit as you're trying to bounce back from two losses on the road? Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is uh this is a scenario that, uh, you know, we want to be in and, that we, you know, we we feel that we do a good job at home and have to continue to protect um, the home wins, and uh, we're happy to be back at home and and being focused on what we have to fix going into the Auburn game. All right. Any other questions for Coach? We'll go ahead and wrap it up there today. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Thanks, everybody.